Hello. Welcome to the channel. This episode is related to Ehang. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about UAV industry regulatory innovation by CAAC for airworthiness certification. Why regulatory innovation needed for UAV industry? The strict requirements for flight safety in the aviation field make the regulatory system play a very unique role in the innovation of civil aviation technology and business models. Whether a new aviation technology can form commercial applications depends not only on the safety and stability of the technology itself, but also on a prudent and inclusive regulatory system. The airworthiness certification standards in the traditional civil aviation field are obtained through years of trial and error and experience, and are a set of extremely serious and professional review procedures to ensure flight safety. However, when there is a subversive or breakthrough development in aviation technology, the traditional airworthiness certification standards are difficult to adapt to the application of new aviation technology, and the problem of how to form a new airworthiness standard system will follow. At present, the innovation that subverts traditional aviation technology and business models is mainly concentrated in the field of UAV AAV, and China's civil aviation regulatory authorities are trying to play a role in prudent and inclusive supervision and encourage innovation in this field. One of the regulatory innovation approaches is Airworthiness Appointed Representatives Airworthiness Appointed Representatives, encouraged by CAAC Next, let's see the specifics of Airworthiness Appointed Representatives. Airworthiness Appointed Representatives Airworthiness Appointed Representatives are employees of aviation enterprise. In the case of EH216 certification, they are employees of EHANG. They are appointed by CAAC and working as representatives of CAAC. They participate in airworthiness certification process under CAAC supervision. For example, Assisting in drafting airworthiness standards for EH216, yes. Collecting required data. Etc. All works performed by representatives may be reviewed, iteratively revised, and finalized by CAAC to meet relevant regulations and requirements. Significances of airworthiness appointed representatives. Save the limited resources of CAAC. Improve the efficiency of airworthiness. Promote the development of the UAV industry. Help UAV design and manufacturing enterprises to play main role. Encourage development of innovative industries such as UAM. Based on the principle of hierarchical and classified management. Focus on the system. Improve the UAV airworthiness management system based on operational risk. Strengthen the main responsibility of UAV design and manufacturing enterprises. In the case of EH216, the autonomous aircraft as well as the associated control and dispatch system are revolutionary and unprecedented, CAAC may not have the expertise to understand the aircraft system and formulate the standards by itself. EHANG as the design manufacturing enterprises of the aircraft, can provide the personnel that are selected by CAAC as airworthiness appointed representatives, and cooperate with the authority to establish targeted and innovative new airworthiness certification standards, thereby promoting the development of the corresponding industry. It is noted that the regulatory authority's tolerant and prudent attitude not only provides a broad space for the innovation and development of the general aviation industry. At the same time, it also adheres to the bottom line of safety. CAAC has given great support and encouragement to EHANG for the AAV industry, and repeatedly mentioned the concept of operation trial and reviewing in parallel. Compared with its peers, EHANG has accumulated more test flight data and practical flight experience, and these experiences are also helpful for the CAAC in formulating and improving relevant regulations and standards. This helps creating a virtuous circle. That a special conditions for EHANG EH216 SUAV system issued by CAAC is the result of such cooperation through the airworthiness appointed representatives approach. The special conditions will lay the foundation for the autonomous aerial vehicle to obtain airworthiness certification and finally realize commercialization in the near future. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.